It's the middle of January in Oregon, and it is so cold outside that the logo flasher is just describing himself to people. And my shaky hand has managed to write my number out on a matchbook to give to you. And you took it and looked at it and looked at me and looked at it and looked at me and looked at it and looked at me and said, what do you have to offer? And I said, well, I have a stack of rejection letters this thick on a spike in a glass case. There's a note engraved on the top that says, in case of ego, break. And in my left breast pocket, I've got a blue sky. And sometimes it shines with vigor, like the morning view from a hilltop overlooking a valley in winter. But most mornings, I've just got a bus ticket to more bus tickets in the view of a way too long ride. Suffice to say that my life has irony on speed dial. It calls from a rotary phone that only click, click, click counterclockwise. In my other pocket, well, it's filled with pretension. So let's just pretend that I mentioned something potentially amusing, like I've got a male enhancement product <laughs> in a bottle, in a picture on my computer screen. Spam flashes up at me. You can have a bigger penis. Yeah, now I know that penis pills aren't worth a dick. And my self-esteem is lower than a crash-landed jet. Yeah, I know they got a pill for that, too. It's just that impotence is the number one side effect. What a pickle. That pun, completely intended. You want to join me? Come on in. How do you do it? Oh, no, here's shit. Fuck. Now I think I'm in love with you. And my brain says, have at it. But my heart is chained to my chest. Has a high dropout rate and slightly problematic. Yours is a fucking Rubik's Cube. <laughs> I can only solve one side. You're tantalizing. I've got a major crush on you. The walls that you set up are as impenetrable as old iron sides. I want to penetrate your walls. <laughs> but when you clam up like that, I get a major case of whatever. <laughs> and a headache in the clouds called a dream. A one night stand with a woman whose hands once worked me like a, 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 a machine. Yeah, I've got stories. <laughs> and I've got experience, and I've got an unidentifiable rash, <laughs> but I've got penicillin, <laughs> and I've got a pen, and the moon, and the vision of you, yeah, I've got a lot, but what I'm not is your affection, if you give me that for just one single solitary second, I will disregard the rest of my said possessions and focus this enthusiasm a bit more pointedly, look. <laughs> You don't really know me. I really want to know you. There's my number. You call me. I will call you back. <laughs>